the chain grab is so hard, dude. You're a chain grab. Yeah, I can't Like, if, if, the, if the game watch is actually mixing up their DI and doing their f escape options on the right frame, it's like yeah. barely humanly possible. <laughs> but that's not melee. We're here to talk about melee. At least for another hour or so. <laughs> yeah. Who's this Zonda guy and why is he in semis? Um, he came from New York. Yeah? Upstate New York. Oh, a DK man. Oh, that, that's the guy that was just in here, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, he's pretty good. Cool. Um, you know, always cool to have more players. Panda was supposed to be here for the whole summer. I haven't seen him again though. Well, he um he's been going to Bruce and Brackets. But yeah. Yeah. See, he went to this one day and then he went to Tuck one day and oh, then I didn't sorry, see him after that. <laughs> brackets and Bruce. Yeah. He's just good. Yeah, no. No, those are some good sets. No. Yeah, dude, that was sick. So I I only played Panda here one day. I, I showed up too late to enter bracket, and he won the round robin. I might match him afterwards, and it like went to last eight game five. I won, but like the thing I took away from it is like. I don't think he's as good as Shoyo at just like playing in neutral properly, but you can't you can't kill him. His recovery is amazing. Like he's got a better recovery than any fox I've ever played against. Like he texts everything. He always chooses the right angle, and he's mind gaming you with it too. You know, if he does the same angle a billion times, like he knows which time you're going to try to adapt to it. He changes it again. Like he actually is using Fox's recovery properly. It's like it's so hard to kill him. We're like against all the other Foxes, I can just like pop a nuke at ledge and they die. And it's funny, you know. I just it doesn't work. I gotta drop. I gotta intercept before he gets there. Yeah. <laughs> Panda, panda, panda. <laughs> we did that last week. That was a mistake, huh? Yeah, you should have shown up here. <laughs> I did, in the three for all. I, it was a three for all to end it. They think they still a chance against the quads master. The quad master. <laughs> Ooh, Chenko to bring this I'm back. always trying to play quads. Oh. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> yeah, so so in PM we do first to five, um, three minute, two stock free for alls, random characters, all stages, all items. Win t winner take all, five dollars. It's super fun. It's amazing. Yeah, in melee, the rule set we use is uh, just like regular four person free for all. Someone randoms, everyone chooses that character. Um, and then just four stock eight man free for all, first to three. That sounds like a super fun drinking game. Yeah. You know, fun, fun games usually are, right? <laughs> yeah. You know what my favorite drinking game is? My favorite. Oh, wow. My favorite drinking game is. Could deep breathe in. That sounds bad. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like a wanna be a good time after a little bit. Oh, the trade. Bye bye. Dang. Yeah, it looks like Zandan knows the Pe I mean knows the puff matchup pretty well. Yeah. I think Falcon is like decent too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Hundred bucks drops sets to Falcons, weirdly enough. <laughs> yeah. Drop sets to anyone else. That aren't like you know gods. Well, I mean, who has Falcon? Is it just Wizzy or is there? Oh, uh, Wizzy. I think SGJ might be like taking close. I don't think he's beating him. I think Wizzy's beaten him a couple times though. Yeah. But Wizzy also lives in the same state. You know? No. Yeah. Or Tiger Bikes even still live in Florida? He um, moved to Georgia or something. Yeah, he's been. Yeah, Guts is there too. Um. Maybe. Did D DZ didn't air BM? Did he? The DZ RPM. The bum. How many answers do we have, anyway? Yeah. 
Is it starting? Ooh. You need to go hag haggle more people to enter real quick. Go yell at some people to enter. Tell, tell Mitch, say, hey, you gotta, you gotta melee. You don't have to be done yet. You don't want to enter this game, buddy boy. <laughs> buddy boy. And he'll say, hell yeah. And he'll have a lot of fun. <laughs> I should be talking about this set. Yeah, DZ switched from... Yeah, this guy's playing Falco, Fox, Dog, Spaceman. Yeah. That's different than Space Racer. Space, yeah. He's got those those metal feet, sees. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, he knew. He knew where he's rolling. Oh, oh. Uh. Nope. Oh, oh, that's Dead Fox. That should be. Dead Fox. Didn't have to be. <laughs> it was. <laughs> um. Yeah, they put James McLeod in F Zero GX. Fox's father. Oh, uh, he's a weird, like, human hybrid version. He's kind of gross looking. Oh, really? Why would they make him a human hybrid? Why don't they just make him, like, another fox? Well, because they shouldn't be, because, you know, it's like, it's like a weird mix where, like, you still have the same name, and he pretty much drove an R-Wing, you know, like, it was his <laughs> racer, but, like, you know, they don't want to just actually make it the character, right? I guess, you gotta yeah. be a little bit cheeky about it. Ooh. I thought that smash would hit him. Groupe. I should start playing, huh? Oh boy. This is looking tough for Chang'o. Yeah. But. It was looking tough last time too, so mm -hmm. let's see what he can do. I am not gonna be able to finish talking about this one. No. What? No. I'm saying it was like the last set. You know, he, he reversed the old Mitch. Oh, uh, yep. No. Uh. -uh. <laughs> I don't really know what Chango exactly needs to do. I'm a, I'm a finish. What do you um, think Chango needs to do? He not, needs to not lose neutral. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Well, um, yeah, all this stuff should probably fall. Oh, 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 excuse me, I'm gonna go <laughs> scope it out. Okay. Ooh. If I had the other way, that would have been nice for Chango. There you go. Thank you. I'll join you. I'll join you. Sweet. Okay. Now I need your beautiful voice and your mm -hmm. knowledge of the beautiful game to help voice. me. Mm, my knowledge of the game. Uh, Jigglypuff loses this match. <laughs> <laughs> the end. That's all I know about this. No, dude. So Xando, yeah, he came in from uh, <clears throat> New York. And uh, he was saying, yeah, I was ranked. Like, I didn't... I don't know, he showed up early and started helping me set up, he's a good guy. Uh, apparently he just moved here, which is cool, hopefully we'll be seeing more of him. And if he's like, if he's doing this good, like, I hope we see more of him. Yeah, I know, it would be super nice for the scene. Mm -hmm. His DK also is super nice. Yeah, apparently that's his main, like, oh my goodness. DK is like such a sleeper character, it's so incredible. Yeah, that will take him out, alright. Chango, he's got a, he's he's got that mountain ahead of him, man. Yeah, he's got that climb. He's but got a lot. But he did before. Like, yeah, but like, it, it's also so late in the match that he's even down on like his stage. So I'm like, now he has to go through two counter picks as well, even if he takes this game. Like, and that right now it's looking pretty tough for him to take this game too. Like, uh, Zama is not really being too invasive, but like he's he's definitely peppering the spacing. So like. Chango can't really hold on to any piece of land because Xana's already like right there, uh, challenging him with it. Yeah, no, Xanadot seems to really know the Puff matchup. Mm -hmm. He like really respects Puff in like, certain areas, and it's kind of amazing. Like he's been getting away with um, not getting rested on certain spots. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's just um, Chango like trying to save the rest for a little bit later in the set, but um, 
I don't know, he just like hits on a platform and then just like, yeah. able to like do the right read of like, oh, attack away or like take in place or something. And That's definitely an experience thing. Like, one of the biggest things, uh, personally, just to talk about myself really quick, because that's the best commentary, um, is that like, whenever, generally, when a puff like throws you up onto the top platform, for example, we're watching for you to tech across the platform most of the time, because that's the biggest one that we have to invest in. And, uh, like, we might as well just start reading for, like, what is going to be the most, like, uh, obvious um, tech option. So, like, that kind of situation, Xana would probably be smarter and be like, well, I'll just normally stand up so I'm not wasting as much time. Like, that kind of thing. Messes with him. But no DI on that up throw. Chango might have this game, man. Especially if he gets punished with just a down smash. I think that was supposed to be drill, and he just messed up the tech. No, yeah, he um, he hasn't been punishing rest at all. He's just been get kind of just like jabbing him and letting like Chango come back. Yeah, the respect. <laughs> I, I, I kind of like that. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. Uh, I kind of like that, but at the same time, it's like, dude, you gotta, you know, <laughs> take advantage when you can take advantage. Let's go. Yeah. And then Zeno was also saying that he was like, he's feeling pretty rusty. He can do better than. Um, like when he lost to Chief, even though he's like, Chief is probably better than me, but if you like, oh, Ooh, that go. was nice. No tech. <laughs> Cutting in there. <laughs> Getting him. Okay. What? Oh, oh, shoot. Uh, I'll make a little announcement about that. There's a there's a spot for him. Uh, okay, so he's going he's going back to Falcon. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he sees it. He sees it's, it's more like consistent. Uh, I think Falcon, like his Falcon in particular, is probably better against the Puffs. Um, yeah. But this is actually like a, a decent matchup for Falcon, I feel like. Not like, definitely not the best, pardon me, holy hell. Um, definitely not the best, but like the throw follow ups are devastating, and like one knee on Puff at like 50, 60% can turn into a kill conversion. Like, yeah. it's really scary. No, and especially seems if, if the Falcon has patience, which. Zane. Yeah, okay, don't say that. Sorry, I'm like, that's uh, that's something that all Falcons say, where it's like, oh, if the Falcon's patient enough, and it's like, yeah, but like, that's that's something you can say about almost any character. It's like, be super, super patient. Um, yeah. And then it's like, no one plays a super, like, incredibly f patient Falcon. Like, it's, it's so hard to find, and it's so hard to, like, get those people to play in tournament, too. Um, that it's like, yeah, you're gonna see it from like Wizro. Like, you'll see it from a, a few of the really, really good Falcons, but like, in general, I feel like Falcon is just, just not a patient character. No one who plays Falcon is patient. Like, he's, he's coming in, uh, and while it's not like, yeah, he can win if he's patient, there's also like, dude, he's threatening this Puff's airspace all the time with his, his up airs. Like, he's not jumping in stupid. Like, that was the only empty hop he did, I swear, so far. The rest of them, he's been checking everything with the up air. So. Yeah. No, I agree with you. Yeah, I didn't mean to be like, oh, he... <laughs> no, I know, I know. I just meant more so he's like... He's putting himself in, like, good... I mean, me, me, me more so he's just putting himself in, like, a good spacing-wise, mm -hmm. like... And just respecting, like, Puff. He's picking the right, like, stage positioning that he wants, yeah. Positioning is super, super important. I love it. Yeah, those up airs are, like, those, they're, they've been converting for him, too. I mean, he's up two stocks right now, and, like... He's in an edgeguard situation, so this is where Puff should be getting the kills. Like, just take ledge at this point, almost, and then, like, he has to go for stage, yeah, and then figure figure him out. But, like, Chango whiffed out right there. I think he might have even been going for a grab. I'm not sure. Either that or he misspaced the uh, forward smash. Yeah. Yeah, he's good. Oh, yeah, he's gone. I was like, just just for one slim second there, I was like, oh, did he make it on the stage? But he did not. <laughs> I thought I was gonna pull. Can you do that on Yoshi's where um, you like hit the ledge slightly and able to like slide off of it? Like you don't exactly. Uh, oh, I think I know what you're talking about, but that would probably just be Yoshi's and because of how it like slides. But I could be wrong. Like I, I really don't know. Yeah, grab back throw. <laughs> he, yeah, that's the problem at like that percentage is that when Falcon can like double jump and grab ledge immediately afterwards, like. You have to be so quick with following that up with Puff. I think you have to like forward tilt that or dash attack it, like, <laughs> um, just to be able to cover the ledge. So, in that situation, I probably uh, it might have been better to throw him up, but whatever. That's hindsight. Gets him with a raw F smash. Super good. Oh, yeah, one. yeah. There he goes for it. I thought he was gonna get him with the clip him with a back air, but uh, he goes for the kill. Which is good. He kind of needs this right now. Yeah. If he can take this game, then like, dude, pressure is totally on, and like he. Ooh, there we go. Yep. Quick little up tilt. That's gonna take him out. <laughs> Just <laughs> enough time for the Falcon Punch. He even tries to like tech that, Omsa tech that, but uh, he's he can't get that angle low enough. That this is close. Sick. Yeah. This yeah. Is... Oh my goodness. Okay, Chango's doing more of like 
pressuring him. Like, uh, as I was saying, Zonda was like, he's not just throwing out stuff nice and Ooh. nice and easy. That's going to take him out. There Dang. we go. Yeah. Chango, we're going game five. Now Zonda, like, Zonda's like, he seems like he's like, yeah, oh, okay, I lost that one. But no, he's totally feeling it. Like, you can see it. You can see it right now. Yeah, no. He's like, oh, I'm better than this. I'm better than this. I can do better. What happened, man? Where's my momentum? <laughs> Yeah, Chango's taking it over, man. He's sneaking those rests in there. I yeah. love that. I feel like that's Chango's thing with Puff, too. It's like, we have Puff rests, like, duh. But it's like, yeah, but Chango, like, he has this way of just like, oh, by the way, it's right here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, this is this is right here. Or, like, sneaking that up tilt in. Okay, he's going back, Fox. Yoshi. I got you. I mean, I, Pokemon. He's going Pokemon again? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know I agree with you. Chango's really good just... I don't know, I think as the set goes on, he gets way better. He just remembers mm. all the things that you like to do, and she's like, okay, mm. I can keep that in my memory banks. Yeah, and he's got, like, a decent, a, a very small and, like, subtle mix-up on his neutral game to kind of, I don't know if it's, like, baiting you into doing something. I, I'd have to play him again to, like, really understand it on my end, but, like, he'll he'll do some stuff where he'll just crouch and wait from time to time in between his neutral, which is, like, just, uh, you know, baiting for you to do something. It's usually against Sheik's. Um, where he's just like, yeah, you know, swing with, use any of your moves because they'll just go right over me. But um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I feel like I feel like it, it works out a lot because then he gets people to be like a little bit more aggressive or a little bit too patient, and then he'll come in and like tomahawk. Um, he's good about that too. Like th there are players who just don't tomahawk, which is like, dude, you got it's it's a really good mix up, you know? Yeah. Yeah, like right there, boom, tomahawk because he knew the forward air was coming, and he's just you know, oh well, I know that you know, so let's play this game. I think up air or up throw probably would have been better right there. I'm not sure. Maybe he couldn't have gotten a follow up. Back air. Dang. He could have rested. Yeah, he could have rested that. So not worth it. But yeah, but, no. Oh, that would have been dope. Ooh. Oh. Go. Okay, so he goes in with the down air because he's just trying to clip him and he's trying to do it the safe way. Because if uh, he took that up B, then he would have been in a really bad spot. Like, uh, what, Fox could have grabbed ledge and then just like come up back aired him against the wall, like that kind of thing. You don't think um, an S smash would have just like beaten the firefox or uh, no especially like down at that angle he would have had to time it like perfect uh, yeah like not perfect but it would have been harder and he probably would have traded and like gotten the clip because he can't stand that far back uh, like away from the ledge because of the rock formation so like uh, you know that's that's squeeze room for puff okay yeah zonda's zonda is doing great now man mm -hmm. fox was definitely the way to go like his falcon earlier i was like yeah his falcons probably would probably would do it i think that was just game one and chango was not used to it he was getting need all over the place and then uh this the second game that we saw the falcon come out i was like yeah i don't see the knees i don't see the grabs going on nearly as much so chango was making the adjustments yeah. but zonda making even more adjustments like just Every single sock is just barely over 70. Like, he's he's not missing that kill confirm. No. That, that reminds me of Rustin's Fox. Like, Rustin's Fox, like, I, you know, I said, I was like, oh, it's kind of boring to watch. And then, like, I, I guess I grew up a little bit. And I was like, you know what? It's really clean. Like, Rustin's Fox is there for a reason, just to beat Puff. And, like, all of his kills were at a very, very specific percentage. Was He would just grab him and he would just, you know, do the up throw. Um, and, I mean, like, that's the general idea, of course, with Fox. But... It, it feels too systematic Ooh. sometimes. That's going to take him out. Yeah, oh, my goodness, dang. Zonda. That was d decisive right there. Yeah, that was the decisive. He definitely ended it decisively. But a uh, couple, couple of games in there, you know, man. Django was doing work. Django was yeah. doing hella work. Jango